Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, God bless you. Um, I love the Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Just want to take a moment to encourage one another at this point in time. Uh, and today's just message was just treasure God's presence in all, whatever it takes. Uh, brothers, my sisters, treasure God's presence because in God's presence there is fullness of joy. In everything that we do, if we are not in the presence of God, then it challenges us even in our walk with Christ and we find ourselves getting stuck in so many things. And in, in this world, there are so many things that are being thrown our way uh, that we can, they can easily uh, draw us away from God. And it is important uh, to challenge each other, brothers and sisters, wherever you are, wherever you're listening, wherever you're watching, may the Lord bless you and just this increase the desire in your heart to dwell upon to dwell in the presence of God a couple of things I just want to say the Bible says where two or three are gathered Matthew 18 20 that the presence the presence of God is there whatsoever we ask in that time uh, the Bible says we are given and also we want to remind us and give us challenge and look at the example of Jacob in uh, Genesis 28 he encounters a moment with God in the presence of God where he sees the dream is in his dream the ladder uh, the angels going up and down the stairs and he when he woke up he said there was a promise there and he, but when he woke up he realized that that uh, he didn't know that the Lord was there with him so he missed up the opportunity to say, I didn't know, I wasn't aware that the Lord was there. But we also see him in the next encounter in Genesis 32, where he struggles with the angel. He struggles with the man saying, I'm not leaving you until you bless me. So the opportunities that God gives us every time of our lives that we need to stay very attentive, tapping into the heavenlies. And in this time, we just want to maybe encourage us and look at the, uh, the scriptures of Samson uh, in Delilah. Uh, in his life, as long as he kept the covenant, he was a mighty warrior. The whole nation of the Philistines were afraid of him. They were plotting against one man. I can't I can only imagine if we could just live in that life where uh, a whole nation would be terrified because of who you are in the presence of God, who you are as a child of God, who you are as a daughter and a son of God. In the presence of God, that's the only way we can be distinguished uh, from other people. Moses says, how can we, how will they know, how will we, how will we be distinguished from everybody else? We saw, we also saw that in, with Jacob, his name was changed. Promises come alive in his presence. Your countenance change. That's important to hold on the presence of God. In the presence of God, God will guide us through the power of the Holy Spirit. He will protect us. He will provide for our children. The same way he provided the children of Israel in the desert. There's freedom. There is liberty in the presence of God. There is fullness of joy. And every time we encounter in the presence of God, things happen. Miracles do happen. And a breakthrough comes in our lives. And we also remember Moses saying, if Moses said, if your presence does not go with us, Lord, do not move us from here. There are some things in our lives we want to make a decision. We have to take a step maybe. But are we involving God in that? As Christians, as believers, are we trusting God with all our decisions, with all that we have, with all our thoughts and minds? And it's so easily to lose uh, the presence of God. And we can see that uh, how Samson lost it. In, 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 in this scripture, the Bible tells us in verse 6, we see him one. He says uh, he, he's tempted on the first time. In verse 6, he's not able. He, he overcomes. In verse 10, he overcomes uh, the, uh, the, uh, Delilah uh, and he cu cu cuts all the, 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 the strings and the ropes. In verse 13, he also does that. But in verse 15 also. But also verse 20, the Bible says he woke up from his sleep and thought, I'll go out as before and shake myself free. The freedom was gone. But he did not know that the Lord had left him. It is important to safeguard God's presence. Wherever we live, whatever we need, whatever we do in our lives, in our thoughts, in our deeds, it is important to safeguard the presence of God. In the presence of God is full of joy. Let us pray together, my brother. And whatever you do, desire to stay in the presence of God. And if there is anything that will hold us back, 
move right now and receive your blessings in Jesus name. Father we thank you for my brothers and sisters. Thank you for the opportunity to listen, to hear. Lord, I pray that dear Lord will heed your word, will be, be obedient and will be doers of your word. Oh God, I pray for everyone who Lord, that you're opening their eyes right now to see where they are. Oh God, we give you all the glory. Help us as we walk through this journey of God and as we prepare us for your second coming. We give you all the glory and honor and praise in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ and Savior. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May He give you an opportunity, another time for us to share and encourage one another. God bless you. Bye-bye.